The Commonwealth Games are over and the athletes are on their way home as we speak. But how well did Africa do? Not so bad it seems, a look at the medals table shows us three teams in the top 10 and five in the top 20. South Africa led Africa at 7th position with 13 gold medals, 10 silver and 17 bronze medals to give us a total of 40. Pretty impressive, although it fell below their target of 43 medals for these games. Nigeria followed closely behind at 8th position with 11 gold, 11 silver and 14 bronze medals to equal 36 medals in total. Kenya was 9th with 10 gold medals, 10 silver medals and 5 bronze medals for a total of 25 medals altogether. Cameroon, Uganda and Botswana brought up the top 20 at 17th, 18th and 20th position with 5, 5 and 1 medals respectively. Some of the standout medals were Essay Brume's gold in the women's long jump with a leap of 6.56 meters. The medal is Nigeria's first gold medal in this event in 14 years. Track Queen Blessing Okagbari became the first Nigerian to win both the 100 and 200 meters with a time of 22.25 seconds. She might have made a treble with the long jump but she opted for her track event after discovering that both events clashed. It's all good though since Nigeria got gold in both events. 20-year-old Nigel Lemos caused one of the biggest upsets of the Games when he defeated Olympic 800 meter champion and world record holder David Rudisha. Rudisha had an injury field 2013 and considered that perhaps he wasn't at his peak. Nigeria's para-athletes did the country proud with gold medals and world records from Lovelyn Obiji in the women's heavyweight category and Esther Oyema in the women's lightweight. Nigeria's men were outshone by the women this year it seems, but Abdulaziz Ibrahim did a good job with a gold in the men's heavyweight group A. Paul Kainde also won a gold in the men's lightweight group A category, and fellow compatriot Roland Ezurike won a silver. Nigeria's Tosin Oke also contributed a medal with a silver in the men's triple jump. Now, Nigeria and South Africa aren't the only countries who have been carrying out internal reorganizations. Ivory Coast has also been doing the same thing, albeit in a much, much quieter fashion. According to the face of Malawi, former Zambia coach Hev Renard has been appointed as new head coach for the national team after former coach Sabri Lamushi stepped down. In much the same way as South Africa, it seems that Ivory Coast is also looking at long-term results over immediate victories with Côte d'Ivoire FA chairman Augustin Sidi Diallo quoted as saying, the new coach will help guide the team which will enter a transition period very soon. We will use the 2015 and 2017 AFCON to rebuild the outfit and raise a new generation of players for the national team. He went on to say, We have to be patient. Our new project is focused on 2019 and I want Ivorians to bear with us and should not expect immediate results. Herb Renard definitely has the credentials for the job. He has coached Zambia twice, from 2008 to 2010, and then from 2011 to 2013. He also worked with Angola in 2010. We're told that in addition to his regular tasks, he will also work with local officials to build the country's grassroots football and will also spice up the senior side by bringing in fresh talent, both from within and outside Ivory Coast. Hmm, with all this planning and organizing happening in football, we have a feeling that maybe not this World Cup but the next will reveal an entirely new dimension of African football to the world. We hope the world is ready. <laughs>